Hi, I'm Eitan and today I'm going to share with you a few quick tutorials to get you started with your next, like creating products, registering your sales, configuring the template and printer settings for your next, and also opening and closing your register. So let's get to them. To start off, we're going to create a new product. So you're going to go on products on your left side menu and then press the add button above. This screen is where you're going to add all the details for your products. So let's go ahead and add a papaya as an example. You can also place the code of your product in here, or if you don't have one, allow Next to generate one automatically. Let's add a category. You can also enter brands. Let's set a sales price. How much it cost me per unit. The amount I have in stock. And you can also place an image for your product. Once you're finished, press F2 or hit the save button. There you go. Your product was successfully created. Next, we're going to learn how to generate your labels. So while inside the products on your left side menu, click on the label button. You can generate one label or label for all your products. Once you select the one you want to use, press create label. Here you're going to select the quantity of labels you want to have printed for this item. You can also check mark this option if you have any promotional price to apply on it and press OK. The process is the same as for any other additional label you need. Once you've completed adding all the labels you want to have printed, go on Print Now or hit the F5 button. Now select the printer that will be used and the template. We have plain paper for A4 printers and coil for thermal printers. Once you've selected the one you want, press next to proceed. Now double check the preview listed on screen and then press finish and print. And there you go, your labels were already printed. Next off, let's learn how to register your sales. So click on sales button, then hit the F3 button or new sale POS. Here you're gonna enter the products that you'll be selling. You can also change the quantity of your items can also apply discount individually by items and you can also apply a discount on the full total of your sale enter customers for the transaction any important observations shipping information company and delivery fees and even select a different seller once you're ready to proceed press save or hit the F2 button this screen is where you're going to select the payment methods used for your transaction you can also leave a non-payment which will allow it to assign as debt on a customer account. But we're going to skip this part since we're going to learn more about it further on. So once you're ready, just press Save F2. There you go. The sale was completed. Next off, we're going to learn how to configure your template and printer settings. So while inside the sales screen, go on the gear icon to your far right corner. Inside, make sure to select option 1 to print your receipt. You can select option 2 to print it automatically if you need. On option 3, you're going to select the printer that you'll be using. And on option 4, you're going to select the template to use. We have plain paper, which is A4 size, or coil, which are for thermal printers. Select from the ones we have available. And once you've chosen and decided, press next to proceed. Step two is where you're going to add all the company details. So once you've added all the important information, you can press next to proceed. Inside here, double check the preview that is listed on screen if it really suits your necessity. And once you've confirmed, press finish and OK to save the sale options. There you go. Template and printer are properly set. Now to finish off, we're going to learn how to open and close your register. So go and click on the register button and then on open register under current register tab. The opening balance you can leave as zero or if you have any amount of change to give back to your customer sales, place it on the screen. Then press open register. Yes to confirm. There you go. Now the register is ready to run all your daily sales. Now at the end of the day, you're going to make sure you access the register menu and go on the register tab and click on close register. This screen is where you're going to enter all the payment methods you've received along the day. You can enter them manually or you can also use the auto fill button. 
Double check all the information listed on screen and once you've confirmed, press close register. There you go. Your register was successfully closed.